Good morning, everybody. I wanted to create a video for you guys on kid-friendly activities that we were able to do within the first week of us being here. My husband works remotely, so we didn't do very much the first week when we arrived. So when we got a rental car the first weekend, we explored a lot of areas. So I wanted to create this video just because we were looking for activities that we as adults can enjoy as well as our three young kids. Our youngest one is three years old, so it had to be something that she was able to walk around safely and comfortably without us holding her. Just because any activity holding a 25, 30 pound kid is not fun whatsoever. So we started off um, trying to locate this one waterfall that was about an hour from where we're staying we did find it but then i don't know if we found the entrance or we found the back entrance but we found the area that it was supposed to be but then we realized we had to park our car and hike up to where the waterfall is and having a three-year-old it didn't make a lot of sense just because it would be a very strenuous workout but some parents enjoy it so it's a lovely waterfall i can link it below but we didn't go there so then we changed our routes and we went to this underground cave. It was called Grutas de Antonio Santos, I believe. I'll link it below. I can't think off the top of my head. Before we got there, we actually went to have a picnic at a park that was nearby. The park's name was Park de Mirandish, and I wanna say it was about like a 10, 15 minute drive to the cave. It was such a lovely park. It was kind of situated in between mountains and there was like a man-made lake there that had fish, turtles, I think ducks were there too. So the kids really enjoyed throwing bread there. And I will say, so we didn't really plan on having a picnic actually. We threw some snacks and some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches into a bag and we're planning just to eat it on the road there or whatnot. But since we discovered that park, we wanted to sit down and have a picnic. Now we did not plan for this picnic at all. And I would highly recommend that if you are having a picnic or want to have a spur of the moment picnic to have like a picnic blanket and other various stuff in your car. We realized growing up myself, when I had a picnic with my parents, we would go to a local park that had benches and we would just have our lunch there. I'm sure many other Americans can attest to something differently, but that's just how I grew up. When we arrived at the picnic area, I don't know if this is a Portuguese thing, maybe it's just because I didn't grow up this way, but there were these cement picnic tables and chairs there. So you didn't really have those plastic or wooden ones that we have in the States. Everyone had their picnic tablecloths out, they had their silverware, they had their glasses and they were set up for a, a day of picnicking. I didn't grow up that way, so it was different for me. We just kind of spread all our food out and we just ate. So I would recommend that you have a picnic tablecloth out. Um, afterwards, we went to the cave and the cave was amazing. I always wanted to go to Lurie Caverns in Virginia and we just never did. So it was nice to see an underground cave. There was slag mites, slag tights, all that stuff. And it was so much fun to explore and see the natures of the world, really. The inside walkways were great uh, my three-year-old was able to walk comfortably and didn't slip or fall there were some areas that were a little wet so it's just something to be cautious about but my seven-year-old my five-year-old they were perfectly fine walking in it now the price of the caves there were actually two caves so you can pay for one cave entrance or you pay for two caves now to pay for two caves it wasn't too expensive it was six euros per adult and three euros and 80 cents for children between the ages of five and 11. So in all actuality, it was a very, very affordable price for two caves. I don't know the price for one cave, but that was for two caves. Obviously the park that I spoke about before was completely free. So that was nice, added bonus. Then afterwards, we went to Baklau, um Buddha Eden. I, I call it Buddha Eden because it was easier to say. And it was this outdoor landscaped area that had Asian Buddhist statues everywhere, but really that landscaping, oh my gosh. I pretend that that's my backyard because that is my dream backyard. It was perfectly landscaped. There were hydrangeas everywhere, flowers, trees, pine cones, bamboo tree. It was just 
amazing. Out of everything I want to list off, that by far was my favorite and I would highly recommend it to anyone coming by. On top of that, there's also a vineyard because they're known for their wine. So there are wine tasting there if you if that's your thing. And the best part is it was so incredibly affordable that I I would just recommend it overall. So the price for admission is five euros for adults. Children under the age of 12, I believe, are completely free. So for all three adults, my husband, myself, and my au pair, it was only 15 euros. So I would say, again, perfect place to take pictures, perfect place for kids to run around, do whatever they wanna do. There was kind of like a, there were a few lakes, like man-made lakes, I'm assuming, that had koi fish. And I'm telling you, these koi fish were well, Bed. They were like this big. I don't know how old those koi fish were, um, but they were so pretty to look at. It was just so many different sculptures to look at. It was just super, super pretty. After that, we went to the Dino Park in Lorena, and it was a lot of fun. I would really recommend it if your child is really into dinosaurs or sea animals and stuff. My son, he was really into dinosaurs a couple years ago, but now he's kind of like growing out of it. But it was really fun to do. Would I say it was worth the price? I still think about it. I don't know if I would do it again. Actually, I know I wouldn't do it again, <laughs> but it is something fun to do if you're a child into dinosaurs. There were a lot of sandbox areas where there were um, bouncy toys on it. So the kids really enjoyed those sandy areas. And there was a picnic area for you to eat at. The food is relatively affordable there. We got a pizza and given it was a small pizza. So my two kids enjoyed it. I think we maybe had one slice each. The pizza itself was about seven or eight euros. So it wasn't too expensive. And we got ice cream for everybody. We got one of those like, I don't even know what they're called, but those ice pops and they were like a euro 10. So it was relatively affordable. I will say one thing I noticed about amusement, I don't wanna say amusement, like tourist areas here, there isn't a huge premium on the price of food and drinks and souvenirs. Let's just say those ice pops that were a dollar, one in 10 euros or whatever, a dollar, 10 euros. I keep saying a dollar, but it's in euros, you know? Anyway, that would have easily been $5 over in the States. And that pizza would have easily been like $15. So it's nice that Portugal in general doesn't upcharge for foods and amenities within the, the parks itself. Another thing that is shockingly affordable are the souvenirs. We went to the dinosaur park and I'm one of those moms, I know. It, it's just one of those things. I don't mind buying a souvenir for the children just because it's like the whole, it's a whole experience, right? So I gave my son five euros to spend at the amusement park and he was able to find a lot of stuff. We bought this one item that was like a plastic, plastic little egg that you put into water and it becomes a dinosaur in 24 hours, or it opens up and it becomes a dinosaur. And that was three euros and 50 cents. So really it wasn't too expensive for being a souvenir in a shop. If I were in the States, that little toy would have been easily 10, $15. To see that you're able to get a souvenir is awesome that is affordable. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to do. We're planning on doing a lot more attractions. So if you know of anything that is super kid friendly, please comment below. And if you like this video, it really helps me to know what type of videos you like. If you can just hit the thumbs up and subscribe because I plan on making a lot of kid friendly videos in the Silver Coast area because we all know kids are expensive and kids are hard to entertain. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next time. See ya.